when we were like editing uh, Bad Boys for Life, we were thinking, what is the next level? And then we thought, yeah, it has to be Marvel. It's the biggest in the biz. So um, we were thinking, yeah, then we have to make like, a, you know, a Muslim superhero, not knowing there was a comic book. And then we discovered Miss Marvel and we just fell in love with Kamala Khan, her friends, her family, her world. And, and now we are creating this origin story about this superhero in the Marvel Universe. It's just a, a blessing. So super thankful and grateful. Well, you know, Kamala Khan is, is the first Muslim superhero on, on the screen in the MCU. And um, I think that what we wanted to do is, is to, 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 to have that representation, to have people uh, that, that are Muslim or Muslim women, my wife, uh, his sister, uh, our nieces, all these Muslim women in our lives, to have somebody that, that they can look up to, that they feel a connection to. But at the same time, we needed also somebody that, that, that we can tell a universal story, that it, it doesn't matter, you know, who you are, what your gender, origin, races, you can relate to that character, you can feel and be endeared and charmed by her and her journey and, and that's the most important thing to try to tell a universal story that everybody can be connected to. Having that animation in the, in the show just to show her imagination or dreaming world is, is a very cool thing and totally different than what we ever saw in the Marvel shows. We're gonna have the Pakistani culture. We also, you know, we as Moroccans, we, we put a lot of our background in it, you know, our families and the, the customs that we do and all that. So I think that you're gonna have really a lot of authenticity and at the same time, you're gonna have something that, that you know, is, is just connecting everybody to that story, to that coming of age story.